Hey gals, it's Fee. I, um, I have a bit of a TTC update. Actually, it's probably more of an emotional status update. And I also have a, a question that I'm looking for some insight on, so I'm coming to you gals for some info. Um, okay, so emotionally, my past videos have explained that I've had a, a rough time dealing and coping lately without um, medical intervention. Xanax, in the form of Xanax. I, I am happy to report that since my, um, since the last time I told you guys about having, that I had to take that, I, I haven't had to take another one since. Um, so I've only had to take three since my, uh, since my surgery. And, and that's a good thing, because I really, I really don't like having to take that stuff if I don't have to, so I'm hoping it stays that way, and, uh, I'm hoping that's signs of me starting to be able to cope a little bit better. And, um, you know, I did have, I had a rough time yesterday, uh, Mother's Day. And I did not have to take one of those pills, so, so that is a good sign. But, uh, yeah, Mother's Day is kind of a, I don't know, it's a bad event for me, even before my, my baby loss. I, I have a, I have an odd family history. I, I don't have a lot of mom involvement. So so there's that. And uh, the person who was my mother figure um, was very, very dear to me. Um, she's been living in heaven for, well, it's going to be two years now in August, so that's a little rough. Um, but all that being said, I, I was, honestly, I was, earlier this year I was kind of looking forward to having a Mother's Day with a little bit more meaning to it for me. Um, and, you know, being pregnant would have definitely accomplished that, but, uh, that wasn't meant to be. Um, I do have my husband's mother, though this, <laughs> this year she decided she wanted to spend it at Great America, and, and I know that's, that's a weird one for a mom to request, but she's, she's done it before, and it's always worked out great, and that's what she's wanted. Um, and that, that probably would have been great, but, uh, yesterday was a little cold, in my neck of the woods, or uh, I should probably I should probably amend that. It's it's a little cold for for someone with a poor excuse for an immune system like mine to be outside all day long. <laughs> I just I know what I'm asking for trouble, and that would have been asking for trouble. So um, I told my husband to go, and I stayed home. But um. <laughs> you know, before he left, he did hug me, and he wished me Happy Mother's Day. And, uh, you know, I can't control my automatic responses. My, uh, my response to that was, well, I'm not a mom yet. And, uh, <laughs> bless him, he just, he just smiled and said, you know, you have five kitties who would beg to differ. And he does have a valid point there. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I stayed home. And I don't know, I think that was probably a good thing, because, uh, I was a little cranky yesterday. Just, just probably not the kind of person that should be around other people when they're they're cranky. That would be me. <laughs> um, I don't know if it was over everything I just described, or if it's, I don't know, the onset of PMS. <laughs> I, I I don't know. Um, actually, actually, the onset of PMS would be a good thing for me right now um, in my situation. That uh. And that kind of leads into the question I have for all of you guys. And um, some of this information may be a little bit TMI, fair warning, um, though I, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned all of it in past videos. Um, okay, so my question is, those of you in our community that, that have had miscarriages or that have had DNCs, um... Just, just as a general idea, how long did it take your body to get its cycle back in the swing of things? Um, I was told to expect the AF in around three weeks. That's what the doctor said, that's what the nurses said, that's what the, uh, the assistant said, that's what everybody said. Um, and of course, later on, my, my brain, the overthinking analytical brain of mine started um, 
kicked in and, and realized that the one thing that wasn't really clarified for me was, is it three weeks after the surgery, or is it three weeks after the bleeding from the surgery stops, or is it three weeks from, I don't know, something in the middle? But, you know, what is it? What, what's, what's, what's the time frame I'm looking for? Um, I, I'm trying not to worry. But, you know, if I had an idea, I'd probably be able to calm my nerves a little bit better um, and let things, you know, regulate in their own time. And, of course, I'm also looking for, for an idea so that if AF doesn't show, I, I'll know when I can go back to the doctor and not look like a crazy person. <laughs> because, um, I, I don't know, I spent so many years not involving doctors and REs and all of that fun stuff that... Yeah, I don't know, perhaps I went from one end of the spectrum to the other, so I, I don't know if that's such a bad thing, but, um, okay, so, so here's the deal. My procedure was April 12th. I stopped bleeding after 12 days, so that's April 24th, um, and it's now May 13th, so that's, what, 18, 19 days after the bleeding stopped. It's been 19 days. Or it's been 31 days post-surgery, whichever way you want to look at this. We can't start um, trying, we can't start TTCing until till two full cycles. And, and while I do have PCOS, I've only ever had one skipped cycle, like ever, in, in all of my existence. And I am fairly regular. Um, so... Despite the fact that I'm polycystic, that's my story. And, um, of course, the curiosity has not kicked in. Um, there's, there's that whole, I don't know, no TTC during this time. And, and that's just our version of, um, well, our version of no TTC during this time is just being careful. Uh, old school, careful, if you get, get my meaning. <laughs> um old school method, let's put it that way. Though, um, I, I, I highly doubt I would be, uh, lucky <laughs> enough to have, have an oops. Because, um, if I was one of those kind of people that could, you know, get oopses by, by pure chance, I wouldn't be in this situation in the first place. <laughs> um, but no, no, I have not tested. And, um, to go a little further with that, I haven't charted, I haven't kept track of when we practice BD, I haven't done anything because I, well, it really shouldn't need to be done until we're in the clear. And, and actually, um, they want me to start charting again after, after the first cycle. So, so when AF shows up, for the first time, that's when they start me to, they want me to start charting. Um, I, just for reference, really, um, for a record. But, like I said, that's what I'm still waiting for. So, I don't know, any thoughts would be appreciated. appreciated. Um, any of you girls that have went through this before, I don't know if you're willing to share what your um, scenario ended up being, um, <laughs> I, I don't know, I, I, I find myself in that, that crazy situation where, where I'm, I'm praying for AF to show up, <laughs> and it just seems so foreign to me, so I, I, I don't know, all, all you girls out there that, that don't want AF because you want to be pregnant, just, just send me all those AF vibes so that, that I can get AF and I can move on, <laughs> Um, so yeah, yeah, if, if any of you guys can offer me some insight, what to expect, if I should, um, if I should be getting worried, I don't know. Um, I, I haven't really felt too many signs of her. I felt, I don't know, maybe a little bit heavy the last two days, like bloated, I guess that would be a better word, but, um none of the other signs that I typically would get before before she would rear her ugly head. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, I don't know. 
I don't know. And I guess I'm, I'm going to leave it at that. So um, if any of you guys can, I don't know, if you want to send me a message, if you want to respond down below, I will appreciate any comments. Talk to you girls later. Thanks. Bye.